Sixteen, six lines from the bottom. The rhyme begins with the word Hanivdal. discussed the principle of Machshava. A Machshava is Rebus Adobuk Makorib. Dibur is also not completely separate. Nevertheless, it is it's Nibdal because we see in Dibur uh, it is not constant, like Machshav. <laughs> and all that, bringing down the Dibur and Machshav and so forth, was for the purpose of elaborating and getting a, a handle on the, on the principle of a shame, of the name. So do we have, there is a name, a name that is a shame, that's a shame, as it pertains to the person himself. And then there is the name as it ex- extends out and it has applied to something separate from him. And in that, in, in that, in that that respect, the name applying to something else. This is where we brought in the meaning of Dibur. That, that the name is applied to something else, which means it's separate from the person. It is similar to to Dibur. And we pointed out the similarities in the fact that and that a dibur is something is on the bush is a nivdal separate from the person, and the other, and nevertheless, there is also a, a it's not totally nivdal. It's not totally separate because the, the person uh, the, is still involved in it, and 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 his presence is definitely transmitted in the dibur. Present in the book. And this is similar in the Indian from shame of name, that there is a name the way it is applied to the person himself, which is Dovuk uh, to him. Then there is his name as applies to something else. His name is applied to something else, to something that he owns. There, it is separate from him, yet it is not separate. You know, it is not totally separate. And there is the effect of his name upon the object that, that it is that it, applied to. So now, 
be, be so to speak, uh, pointed out to parallels the, in the name, several madrigas in the name, and in the Koches and Nefesh, Machshova and Dibur. They call, as I said, we went into the Dibur in order to get a handle understanding on the name of the Shem. Ach, okay, so we are now six lines from the bottom. Ach, however, we have to understand the difference. Hamoshov, the goof of Machshor with Dibur. The Moshal of the, the, the the marshal for the purpose of understanding the relationship between the source and its its his pastors. Like in the nefesh, there is a nefesh. The nefesh is mislabish in the goof. The goof is a, is a is a lavush for the nefesh. And then there is machshava v'dibur. And then we similarly we talk about we say we say that there is a parallel to that at a completely different intangible level. It's called shame, the name. The difference is, the marshal, the goof, and marshal with dibur, the marshal of goof, and marshal with dibur, who became that marshal is is identified in kelim. Ukemaimer, and as it says in the Zayn. Come a goofy tikina slay. That you have have prepared for have uh, prepared to perfected for them. Come a goofy, many goofy. It's many goofy in kale, bodies. The koi al hakelim. There's a sweet that that silks. The goofy in that refers to the kelim of the sweet that silks. That this is in possibly yo. If you, if you say this, uh, you say this every 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 Shabbos, that there are there are tikkunim, the, the tikkunim these are the esas fides, the the oiris, and come a goof in tikkun aslein, and these tikkunim have goofy, have bodies that encompass them, and um, and, and uh, represent them. So the marshal of goof and marshal with dibur is in kale. Or marshal with dibur. So the, the, the goof in kinas like this refers to the essence of that silver. So marshal with dibur, heim b'riya v'yitzira. And then the madrigo, there's atzilus b'riya in etzira. Atzilus, this is this is the way it is in the the kale and atzilus. This is the the goof in as it applies. In Atilus level, this is the the, the kunin, and then there's machshava v'dib, machshava v'dibur. This is in Brio and Itzir. Machshava v'dibur is also kelim. As we said originally, we talked about machshava. This oisi is a machshava, oisi is a dibur. And um, okay, we didn't elaborate really on this, on the Sinian from Oiseus, but it is quite uh, 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 readily recognizable, the difference. Oiseus, as we said, Oiseus is call, are called Avonim, pebbles, stones. Why are they called Avonim? Because the Oiseus in and of themselves do not possess any oil, any life. It is the life in the oasis is the oil that is Islamish in them. What? They do not possess any life? The life in them is the oil that's Islamish in the oasis. Uh, on the one hand you're saying that they have no life, on the other hand, you say that they have a life. That's and on their own, they don't have life. 
that's true of everything, not just uh, Vodna, just not not just stone. No, the nefesh has life. Okay. Oh, no, no. oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. You use the same Isis to express any thought. It's exactly the same Isis. The same, the same sounds uh, are used in all languages, which, which are completely different languages and completely different formats and different messages. This is Isis. This is, uh, this is the way it is. Machshobo and Diva, this is Kaili. And there you see the difference between, you see how there, there's the Kalim, the way they are in Machshobo, and the Kalim, the way they're in Dibu. Machshobo, they are closer to the Nefesh, and in Dibu, they're further out in Dibu, even though they're not fully separate, as we said. Ah, but then on the other hand, Hamosho, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, uh, the Hamosho, okay, we are, uh, now at the end of the line that begins Loin, five lines in the bottom. This is being Siva. And in general, this refers to Kaili. The Hamoshal, the shame. But then the Moshal of name. But we said also, there also we identified different Madregis. The name as it applies to the person himself. And the name as it extends from the person to other objects and so forth. The Moshe of shame who bivchinas ho'ir is in the oir aspect rather than keli. The reason shame is not it does, it does not is not carried by a keli. This is his name. The name aspect. This is the oir, and we shall have a chance to discuss this a little bit more. more. So the postal of, of shame, this is Bibhinas Hoir. This is the way these inyonim are identified within the realm of Oir rather than Kay. Obehechrich, it's clear. Shaina Ideim or Inyan Hadvekus Behoir Obehakel. Clearly, the principle of the vacus, of cleavage to the source, even though we say that in the Kali we have a muscle, the way for the oil, like we said, Dibu is a muscle for shame. But in, in essence, we have to understand that it is it's a totally different, the cleavage that, that that is true as it applies in the realm of oil is an entirely different kind of cleavage than the way it is in the cave. So repeat again, the name of a person, this is the oir of the person. And this oir we have identified in many madrigas, the way it is in the oir, the way it is applied to himself, and applies to others, applies to, to objects. That is very has a cleavage to the person, very close to the person. And similarly, <coughs> we said, Machshava and Dibu are also close and, not, and cleave to the person. The cleavage concept, element, the way it is, the way it, it, it manifests itself, the way it functions, so to speak, at the Kalian level, is totally different than the way it is in the oil level.
can can you really say that? One more, one more. In a day, me in had vehicles behind or back in. The union of vehicles, the way it is identifiable in the oil, is not similar to the way the union of vehicles is identifiable in Cain. We said, Machshava Vadibur, Machshava stays close to the Nefesh. And even Dibur stays close, and there's a certain closeness with the Nefesh. But then there is the union of oil. This is only Kedem, the Oyer, the name, in, in this case we're talking about the name, but also stays close to the to Nefesh. There is not a similarity, even though this is cleavage and this is cleavage, and then there are different Madrigas here and different Madrigas there. But the whole concept, the whole principle of cleavage, as it is identified, as it's found in Oyer, is a totally different principle than the way it is in Kedem. Why do we say that? It says behechrech. Behechrech means it's imperative. We must recognize this. Why is it such a hechrech? Shaharei hu bivchina soyer. Since that, the oyer is in this in this realm of oyer bivchina soyer. It has an the quality of oil, the nature of oil, the, the principle of oil. And what is the principle of oil? Shezehu ali dei hadveikus dafk. The whole presence of oil is ali dei hadveikus. Therefore, the dveikus as it is identified in oil is in a different category of the vehicles than the vehicles the way it was under the fighting Kaili. Kaili, in general, can be identified in the, separate, independently from its, from, from its source. But it has also the union that it has its source in its con- and, it is, and it relates to the source. But it has also a presence, identify a presence that you can actually separate. Then you have to explain that this separation is not 100% separation, it's still connected. But essentially, there's a, there's a, there's a, a presence, a separate presence. Whereas oil, the whole presence of oil is alidea ad vacus. The whole presence of Oyer is representing the vehicles. Ukmation is boiling you, as we already discussed before, previously. What, which one? By, by before motion is born, that's not a continuation. That's not, that's not the beginning of a new. You're saying no. They had vehicles, dafka, it's dafka. Commotion, as we explained before. You're saying yeah. Okay, so that's that's the end of the sentence, not the beginning. Yeah. All right. This principle that oil is alide and vehicles dafka we have discussed quite extensively over the past week or so, maybe more.
the principle of Oyer is Alidei Hadveikus. The principle of Oyer is not to to affect its own its its own effect, but to affect the the, the presence of the Dveikus of the source. Like we said in the marshal of the sun, there is there is the energy of the sun that, that that flows out of the sun and so forth. This is just a functional uh, union. This is not oil of the sun. Oil of the sun is the very presence of the sun. As we said, and we explained that many times the difference between between light and day. Light is a functional a functional effect, which the effect is that you're able to see as a result of light. Day is a different phenomenon. In day, the fact that you can see is is a is an, a by the way effect. Inadvertent effect. As we explained, we said, in, by day, you can see because it's not possible not to see, not because something in, makes it makes it possible for you to see. It's not possible not to see because it's a completely different period. There is no darkness. There is no such thing as darkness. That element is called Oyer. The Oyer of the Shemesh. It's representative of Shemesh itself. Shemesh is, what we said, is Etzim Behiri. Shemesh does not recognize that such thing as darkness exists. The Oyer of the Shemesh is representing that kind of, that kind of quality. Therefore, this clearly explains the principle that oil is an Vekos Nakib. It is by by representing and the, the presence of the Shemesh. This is how oil. This is the presence of oil. In Kaili, as we discuss here, Machshava, Dibur, and and the group and Nefesh, they are separate entities, but. There is a closeness. There is a relationship. <clears throat> so that relationship doesn't compare to the the vacuous, the way it is in oil. Oil exists because of vacuous. The definition of oil is vacuous dafki. Kalim have their own identity, but they have also the the, the vacuous element. When we call she came. And then this is the conclusion of this whole, whole discussion. When we call she came, and then much more certainly so. When you talk about oil and soap, she lift me at sim to the oil and soap before the sim to the, the, the principle that we're discussing overall. Is the union of of um, of um, atmos as it is contained in oil, and this is the principle of dveikus as a result of dveikus. So oil in sorb shul ifnei hatzimtu gam madrege hayeser achrein asher boir. Even the lowest and the furthest out madrege of oil. Even though it's Madrega Achrena Shabbat, but really it has a, it Bibchinus Dveikus, Be'emes in the in absolute truth, which means that because of the quality of oil, it, it, it represents the principle of Dveikus in, 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 
in, in, in totality. Because and it I, represents the, the more. The more. And this is why it is it is um, appropriate to refer to it as as oil um, atzmi and so forth. <clears throat> okay. So this was a parenthesis for the purpose of showing the contrast, of identifying the contrast between, even though we have Madre, we have Misholim coming from Guf and Machshove di Boromaisa, but by contrast we recognize this, the, the special quality of Oir. Bezehu. And thus, this explains to us what we call it from Pichadabudi as when it says that before the world was created, up until the time that the world was created, there was he and his name only. The Pirush Hu Ushmoi Echot, which means Hu Ushmoi Bilbad means that Hu Ushmoi Echot, he and his name is is one and the same thing, is one thing. But how is Shmoi and Hu the same? Bahainu. And the, the principle in this, the claw of Bechina Shmoi, because Shmoi, in, in principle, the of Shmoi, who Bechina Sardus or the Vekus, Shmoi, by definition, is in, in, a, in a state of Ardus, a union with Vekus and, and cleavage. Bibhinas Asmus is so important. In the union of Asmus is safe. Even though this is Shmoy. But as we said, in Oir, Oir, by definition, Oir, the nature of nature, the whole material of Oir is due to, to Ardus and, 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 and the cleavage. And here is the conclusion of this Val Cain. And therefore, Ho Bivhinas Turo Atmi. This is what we started off all the way back. That the reason Anim was called Turo Atmis. Turo Atmis means an essential Tsura. A Tsura that applies to the Atom itself. So we asked, how can there be a, a tzura to the etzim? Etzim does not have a tzura. So the explanation is, because that etzim was megali itself through the aspect of oir, the nature and the, and the principle of oil is is total actus and vacus, totally representative of the etzim. That's why the oil he has a quality can properly qualify with the term of tsura atzim. This is what we started off <coughs> at some point. 
pointing out that oir regardless of how far the oil has extended, it remains, it, it retains this quality of being Tura Atzvish. Because that's the nature of oil. The Yikor Inyan Tura Begilui who, in principle, the union from Tzura, a Tzura means a form, which means representation, Gilu, who bibhinas his pastor's oil. Principally, the Tzura applies to the, his pastor's oil, the way the oil is expressed outside. This is like we said in the name, that the name of person, as it applies, as it is being called by the name, or even as the name is applied to, to an external object, it is still representative entirely of his presence, of him. It's still Tzura Aspas. That's a Tzura Vigili is in his Pasha, so in the way the way it is mispashi it applies externally. But nevertheless, it remains to Ratzmas. But because that the oil is Dovig Bo Etzem, is cleaves to the Etzem, Harei Hu Bibhinas Oir Atzmi. Thus, it has the quality of Oir Atzmi. All right, I think we'll, we'll stop now because I need to elaborate on this a little bit more.